Good morning, everyone. We are now already in the second quarter. The first module that is included in this quarter is about variation. And the first topic that we are going to discuss today is about direct variation. For direct variation, we will be illustrating direct variation and it has something to do with competency number 17. We are going to translate also direct variation and that is competency number 18. And then lastly, we are going to solve direct variation and that would be competency number 19. Let us begin by defining what is direct variation. There is a direct variation if situation produces pairs of numbers in which their ratio is constant. So meaning to say, if you have two pairs of number, it is direct variation if their ratio is constant, meaning to say if the ratio is the same. And also, in direct variation, for the two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. And similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in y. Now let us have this situation for our example. Let me read the situation. The YESO of Trece Martire City National High School launches a recycling campaign of waste materials in order to raise students' awareness of environmental protection and the effect of climate change. This is in connection with the celebration of Earth Month. Every kilogram of waste materials earns points that can be exchanged for school supplies. Paper, which is the number one waste collected, earns six points for every kilo. Now let us discuss this situation. Let us identify the corresponding points of some sections whose collected materials are listed below. So if Boracay have collected 6 kilos of paper, for example, then how many points they will get? Very good, 36. If Nicanor Abilardo will collect 9 kilos of paper, then they will be receiving... 54 points. Now, a 12 kilos of paper for Quirino Navarro will give them 72 points. And if Luz Bilardo will collect 13 kilos of paper, then they will have, yes, then they will have 78 points. We can say that the given situation illustrates direct variation because number one, if you are going to look for the variables for the kilos, the values, we have 6, 9, 12, and 13, you are going to notice that the trend is increasing. And also, we have 36, 54, 72, 78, the other quantity which is corresponding points also increases. So this is what we mean that an increase in X or an increase in a quantity, meaning to say the other quantity will also increase. But this is not enough for us to say that it is a direct variation. And another is that in direct variation, the situation must produce a constant ratio. So if we are going to get the ratio of the two quantities here, we have 6 over 36. If you simplify that, 6 is to 36. Yes, 6 is to 36. It is both divisible by 6, so it will become 1 over 6. So the ratio of our first pair is 1 over 6. And if you are going to look at our second one, 9 is to 54. Again, it is divisible by 9, so the ratio is also 1 over 6. And also with 12 over 72 and 12 over 78. All of it has the same ratio, which is 1 over over 6. That is why we can say that the situation really illustrates direct variation because number one, it produces a constant ratio and then number two, as one quantity increases, the other quantity also increases. Another characteristic of a direct variation is its graph. Let us consider our table earlier. So if this is our table, then if we are going to graph it, this will be the graph. So we have here 6 kilos. It has 36 points. If you have here 9 kilos and then you have 12 kilos, 13 kilos, that would be 78. If we are going to graph it, you will notice that the graph is a straight line. So another characteristic of a direct variation is that the graph of the two quantities is a straight line. 
Let us proceed in translating situation into direct variation. The statement y varies directly as x and y is directly proportional to x may be translated in mathematical as y equals kx where k is the constant of variation. Again, if y varies directly as x, it will be translated into y equals kx kx and also this can be read as y is directly proportional to x so considering our situation earlier with the kilos and corresponding points we can say that the corresponding points varies directly as the amount of waste in kilos again the corresponding points depend on the amount of kilos so the corresponding points varies directly as the amount of waste in kilos and if you are going to translate that into mathematical equation then it will be written as p equals kw did you get it now let us consider the following situations here for number one the fare of a passenger varies directly as the distance of his destination we can say that this is a direct variation. Why? Because according here, the fare varies directly as the distance. And if the distance increases, then the fare will be will also increase. So, mas malayo ang pupuntahan ninyo, ibig sabihin, mas mahal ang inyong, inyong pamasahe. So, it is a direct variation. And if we are going to translate it into a direct variation, it can be written as F equals KD. Again, the translation is F equals KD. This means the fare varies directly as the distance. Let us have the second one. The cost of fish varies directly as its weight in kilograms. It is indeed a direct variation. Why? Nakadepende ang presyo ng isda, depende kung ilang kilo ang iyong bibilhin. And of course, mas maraming kilo ang bibilhin mo, mas malaki ang iyong babayaran. So that is direct variation. And if we are going to translate it into an equation, then it will become C. The cost varies directly as the weight. So we have C equals KW. So let's proceed with the third one. An employee's salary varies directly as the number of days he has worked. Tama naman. Because yung inyong sweldo will depends on the number of days you will be working. And habang tumataas yung bilang ng araw na iyong itatrabaho, it means that your salary will also increase. So this situation illustrates direct variation. And if we are going to translate it into equation, it will be written as S equals KD. Okay. So the question now is, how are you going to solve problems that involves direct variation? Let us have two examples. Number one, this is number one, and this is number two. Let us discuss these two samples one by one. Let us begin with example number one. It says, y varies directly as x. If x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 20, find y when x is equal to 15. So you are going to look for y if x is 15, given that y varies directly as x and if x is 5 and y is 20. To be able to solve problems that involves direct variation, we need to follow several steps. First one, you need to translate it into an equation. Our variation must be translated into an equation. That's the translation. The second one is you need to get the k or the constant of variation. And then we need to write the equation of variation after finding the value of k. And then lastly, of course, you need to solve for the unknown. Let us begin with the first one, translation of variation. If it says y varies directly as x, if you are going to translate that into an equation, that it will be written as it will be written as y equals kx. Then second step, we are going to solve for k. How are you going to solve for k? You are going to use the first two given here. If x is 5, y is 20, therefore, what is the value of k? If you are going to substitute again, y is 20, it is given, and then x is 5. So we use 
5 and 20 to find the value of k. And if we are going to solve for k, what are you going to do next? Very good. You are going to divide both sides by what? Yes, you are going to divide both sides by 5. So this will be cancelled out. Therefore, the value of k is 4. Where did we get 4? Yes, that is from 20 divided by 5. Now, we, are ha we already have the value of k. So we can write already the equation of variation. And the equation of variation is y equals 4x. We actually get the equation here in the translation. And we just substitute the value of k which is 4, that's why we have y equals 4x. Take note, the translation, meron pa kayong k. If you already get the value of k and you substitute it, it is already the equation of variation. And then lastly, you solve for the unknown. You are going to use the equation of variation to, for you to be able to answer the question, what is y when x is 15? So you are going to substitute y. Wala tayong y, so you have y here. And then the given is x is 15. So you just simplify it, so y is equal to 60. Meaning to say, y is 60 when x is equal to 15. As simple as that. I hope you get it. Let us now discuss the second example. This is a word problem, a real-life problem. So we have here, the cost of ripe varies directly as its weight. If a 2-kilogram papaya costs 45 pesos, how much should a 3-kilogram papaya cost? It is true that the cost varies directly as its weight. Kasi mas malaking papaya, mas makilo, ibig sabihin mas mataas ang iyong babayaran. So for you to be able to solve this, we will be using again the steps, translate the in an equation, our variation or our situation into an equation, then you are going to solve for k, you are going to write the equation of variation, and then you need to solve for the unknown. Let us have the first one. You are going to translate the cost of papaya varies directly as its weight. So if we are going to translate that into an equation, then our translation will become... Very good. It is C equals KW. And to solve for K, we are going to use the first statement. If A, if a 2 kilogram papaya costs 45 pesos, oh, what is the constant of variation? Let us solve. We have here, the cost is 45 pesos. That's why we have 45 here. And the cost 45 pesos is for a 2 kilogram papaya, so the weight is I hope you get it. And if we are going to solve it, what are you going to do again next? Yes, divide by 2. Divide by 2, vote side. So this will be cancelled out. So what will be the value of K? Okay, the value of K is 45 over 2. And if the value of K is 45 over 2, from our translation, you are just going to substitute K. That will be the equation of variation. Then it will become... C equals 45 over 2 W. And then this equation is the one that we are going to use for, you, for us to be able to answer the or to solve the problem. So if this is the equation of variation, the question is, how much should a 3 kilogram papaya cost? So ang nawawala is the cost and the given is the weight which is 3 kilos. And if we simplify this expression, 45 times 3 is 135. That is 135 over 2. And 135 over 2 is 67.5. And what do we mean by 67.5? It means that a 3 kilogram papaya cost 67 pesos and 50 centavos. And as you can see, dalawang kilong papaya, 45 pesos. Mas mataas ang weight, kaya mas mataas ang presyo, which is 67.50. This is all about direct variation. How are you going to illustrate? Then, how are you going to translate it? And then, how are you going to solve problems involving direct variation? That's it for today. Thank you for watching.